How you doing everyone? My name is Alex. Uh, I just want to go over this problem that came up in my one of my organic chemistry 2 class uh, exams and uh, it caused a lot of confusion am amongst my classmates and myself. So this question is asking which has a lower pK uh, molecule with the nitro group on the para position or the molecule with it on the meta position? So remember, an aromatic ring, this is ortho, this is meta, and this is para. Okay? Same thing on this side. And it's asking you which has the lower pK. Again, remember, a molecule with a lower pKa is acidic, and a molecule with a higher pKa is basic. So what is being more acidic? Well, a molecule that is more readily available to release their hydrogen bonds, uh, the hydrogen atom, and what makes that possible? A more stable resonance structure. So the question here really is, which structure after it loses the hydrogen has a better, is more resonance stabilized? Now, if you can't tell just by looking at it, of course it helps to actually draw out the resonance structures. I'll start with this one with the nitrous group on the uh, para position. So what you do is, obviously you start with the starting material. For simplicity reasons and to make it a little faster, I'm just going to write NO2 without the bonds and the charges. but just assume that that NO2 is this, same NO2. And we have the bonds. Now what we want to do is, we know it's losing the hydrogen. So this bond goes here to create a double bond with that O and the carbon of the ring. Then this bond moves. But where does it go? Most people when drawing resonance structures they would just draw an arrow to here then draw an arrow to here draw an arrow to here and draw an arrow to here to show that it's aromatic but you don't get to appreciate a very important part here that involves the NO2 you're actually skipping that part and if you do this on an exam, you're not going to be able to tell which one builds the better resonance structure. And of course, you know, the answer here would be that the bonds moved over this way. And then O has a negative charge because this bond pushed that double bond back to the O. But that's... That's, that's that. So what you want to do is, your this this pi these pi electrons here are going to that carbon. So the intermediate before this pi bond here is formed, is this carbon is going to get the lone pairs, giving this carbon the negative charge. Right. As we see here, the pi electrons move to the carbon. That is the intermediate step before this double bond is formed and this double bond moves and so on. Now the next step here is the lone pairs will create that double bond there. So it created a double bond. And what happens to this one? Same thing as here. This gives the lone pair to that carbon here. So now we have lone pair here. This carbon has negative charge. And this is still there. Now this is the very important step into determining whether this resonance structure is better than the one with the meta position. 
because instead of those electrons moving over and creating a double bond here, what happens is, and let me draw it out as we have it over here, negative, this has a positive. Now what happens is these lone pairs go to the nitrogen carbon bond here. Okay? And since that formed the double bond there, these electrons come out and go onto the oxygen. So now both oxygens have a negative charge and that nitrogen still has the positive because it still has four bonds double bond and then two single bonds on the sides and now this is a middle step between uh, the bond that was here to the bond forming on this end then the next structure The next structure would be the electrons that just went to this, this nitrogen bond to go back to form that double bond there. And then one of these oxygens will give back electrons to that pi bond. So we reestablish that original NO2 that we had. And now that double bond is formed, pushing these pi electrons to this carbon. Now we can stop there because the next step, as you would expect, would be coming back to here but with a double bond here. It would be these electrons going to form a double bond here and pushing these to the oxygen, giving oxygen a negative charge. Now without having to draw resonance structures to, for the meta position, this is, we could just draw this and I'll explain why. Pretend NO2 was at the metal position here, as in the other structure you need to compare with. As you see here, the lone pairs do not end up on a metal position. They go from the uh, they go from this double bond to lone pair on the ortho, then lone pair on the para and then lone pair on the ortho again. The lone pair did not go on the metas. So, you would assume here, if it only goes on the ortho and para, then you cannot form resonance with this NO2 group here. Electrons won't go to this bond as it did here in this step. Right? This won't happen. This double bond N and these two negative O's, this resonance type won't happen with NO2 on the meta position. Because of that, this makes the NO2 on the para position more resonance stabilized, which means it has a lower pKa because a more resonance stabilized conjugate base will result in a better acidic compound. Okay, now that, that answers the why. You were able to compare the two as to which one has a lower pK and why. Now, I hope that helps. Um, oh, another thing to remember. You might say, hey, but what if the starting material started with, instead of the double bond on this left side, started on the right? Does it go on the meta? Does it do the lone pair? Same thing. See how we ended here? How the next structure would have been, the next structure would have been this, these going there, and this going here. It would have gave oxygen a negative. Okay, so just assume this is the starting material. With oxygen having a hydrogen, that bond forming double bond, 
then this bond going to those. So just work your way backwards. And you can still see it's not going on the meta. So the better resonance structure is formed with this, this compound here. So this is the answer to which has a lower pK. I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions about it, comment. And I will see it. I will respond. Uh, good luck on your semester and good luck in every exam, guys.